Hello, this is Danny Raymond, the voice behind Ray's Guide. Hey, Malcolm Reynolds is which? I'm Captain Reynolds. My first mate Zoe. This is Jane. Very nice. I am Adlai Nishka. In the last ISC, Jared showed off some work in progress on reputation icons, which caused a lot of speculation from folks reading too much into the titles and not enough understanding of how reputation works in Star Citizen which is quite a bit narrower than the broad English language definition of the word reputation. And I realized that I hadn't done a video on the subject of reputation, and it was perhaps time to do so. Reputation in Star Citizen is like this. You do the train job for me, then you are solid. And honestly, if I wanted to make my shortest video ever, I could end it right there. This is how reputation in Star Citizen works. There are reputation-holding organizations and individuals. They have jobs which advance their agenda. You do them successfully, and you gain reputation specifically with them. You have reputation. How come Reynolds gets it done is the talk? Well, glad to hear that. So the folks who saw the icons and presumed the system would be monitoring their behavior stream in-game, and then when it saw something that qualified as, say, theft or kidnapping, it would bump their reputation in those areas they're wrong. There is already a system in the game that tracks your behavior and detects crimes. It's the crime stat system, not the reputation system. But why not have the reputation system also reflect gaining certain crime stats? Well, for one thing, CIG would not want to create a system that rewards targeted harassment. And the second of all, it doesn't want the Star Citizen to be a skill use advancement system. You know, use your crossbow a certain number of times and the game declares you a crossbow master. The reason is that skill use advancement systems are easily gimmicked. We figure out what the game at a minimum regards as theft, then you and I go to some remote place and you steal from me, then I steal from you over and over again until just a few minutes later, we're both master thieves. Then you kidnap me and I kidnap you, yada, yada, yada. So instead of just generally detecting and crediting theft, we have particular individuals and entities who instead have thefts that, for whatever reason, they need to have happen. We got word you might have a job for us. Yes. Yes, an exciting job. A train. Has uh, something I need. You have worked a train before? A bit of you. Are you going to ask me what it is I need? As a rule, no. You do the job, and you get the reputation with them. And at the same time, the organization or some other organization might need to have a kidnapping occurred, resulting in a kidnapping mission and kidnapping reputation. Note that soon bounty hunting will require that the target be transported and delivered to the advocacy. So the only daylight between bounty hunting and kidnapping will be who you are doing it for and why. But what about what you might call the more general definition of reputation? Is people talking? Is gossip? Well, you're just going to have to be on your own for that one, I guess. And now I guess you're saying, but wait, it's really just a bunch of PvE missions? And no, not just. With bounty hunting, there are both PvP and PvE missions, and if you're doing something to anger those reputation-granting organizations, they will make a mission against you. But it won't be a surprise as to whether or why it happens. As another example, that scenario presented in the Virtual Citizen Con, where the player steals a Hadesian artifact and shoots up the entire outpost in the process, I don't think there would be any surprise that, if they were to get away, that that organization that they stole from would create both missions to kidnap them and missions to steal back the artifact. But the point is that it's no surprise about whether and why. But you might be wondering, will I be able to go and pay the criminal organization to create such a mission against somebody? Probably, if at all, it would be under very limited conditions. You won't be able to just go into the organization, put down some money, give a target name, and have the mission created. The reason for that is that CIG wants targeted harassment to be a bannable offense. They aren't going to go to the work to create a system to make targeted harassment really easy. So what sort of limited conditions am I speaking of? Well, here's how I would do it. Right now in civilized space, you get a notice in the hospital that somebody has done a crime against you and whether you want to have them charged with it, accept, or not, decline. Well, in lawless space, crime stat and charging someone with a crime is irrelevant. So instead, you might get an opportunity to create a retribution contract or not. 
the retribution contract will be for a standard price and terms. But again, the key requirement is that the target will have no surprise that a mission had been created and why. So the real takeaway for these extended icon sets is that CIG is going to be creating a wide variety of non-legal career paths and reputation metrics. And the fact is that for a while people have complained that the not legal mission paths in the game were sparse, leaving the player wanting to play the illegal side of the game, eventually winding up with nothing to do but just be generally sociopathic. But that is what these new reputation categories and missions are going to be, giving you a criminal career route aside from just being generally sociopathic, rather than measuring and rewarding your being generally sociopathic. And now for an update on the ship giveaway. Currently, we're at 28% of the membership goal and 49% of the subscriber goal to get one lucky subscriber their choice of the Anvil Liberator Ship Shipping Ship for Shipping Your Ships or the Misk Odyssey Long Duration Exploration Carrier. One entry per video. Those 28 members, as of this video, are entered automatically. And to top it off, any of them win, they get both of the ships. For non-members, just be a subscriber and comment using the secret word. And the secret word for this video is what Adelaide Niska said Mal Reynolds would be with him if he did the train job. Fly safe, keep it real, and I'll see you in the verse. This is Daniel Raymond for Ray's Guide.